Hi guys, okay, a real treat for you now. We are going to derive Euler's identity. And this is kind of a great way to finish um, with the Maclaurin series. And, and actually, this is my last lesson on calculus, which is the last topic out of the five. So in a way, this is my last lesson on the whole course. And it's the perfect way to finish because this is the perfect equation. Now, if you've never heard of Euler's identity, this is it, e to the i pi plus one equals zero, and it is pretty much considered by everyone to be the most beautiful equation in mathematics. It's certainly one of the most famous, but if you look up, if you just Google the most beautiful equation in mathematics, that'll come up straight away, without doubt. Um, so, well, ha have a look at it and it's certainly worth thinking, why is it a beautiful equation? What's beautiful about it? Well, look, it's got, look what's going on in it. It's got E, it's got I, it's got pi, which, I mean, you might think, well, what relation have they even got to each other? So it's got E, I, pi, it's got one, it's got zero. These are some of, these are like five of the most famous constants in mathematics. It's got a power, e to the power of this, it's got a multiplication, it's got a plus, it's got an equals, it is it is pretty good. Now, I'd heard about this equation and I knew it was like really famous and it was beautiful and, and I, I mean, the first person, my t when my teacher said to me, this is a beautiful equation, I, I did look at it and say, yeah, fair enough, it's, it's pretty cool. But it wasn't until I actually understood how to get it myself that I really, really appreciated it. Now, if you have followed my lessons in order, and this is kind of your last lesson, you have all the skills um, required to to derive it. And that's what we're going to do right now. And it comes at the end of the Maclaurin series sequence of lessons because we're going to use the Maclaurin series to derive it. Now, note I've put over here on the right um, the Maclaurin series that are given in the formula booklet, and we are going to use these in our derivation. So let us start with, I'm going to start with e to the x. Consider e to the x, we have e to the x is equal to, it's 1 plus, it's 1 plus x. Have I got, yeah, it's 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial plus etc. Fine. Okay, now, what if I get e to the i x? What happens? So I'm trying to get e to the i pi. So let's get e to the i x. I get e to the i x. What does this equal? Now it's 1 plus ix plus ix squared over 2 factorial plus ix cubed over 3 factorial plus ix to the 4 over 4 factorial. By the way, if you want to pause the video and try and if, see if you can try and figure this out um, by yourself, um, that would be even better. Plus, um, well, let's go dot, dot, dot. Okay, now what happens here is I get this equals 1 plus i times x. Now what happens here is i squared becomes, i squared is negative 1. So this actually becomes minus x squared over 2 factorial. And then this i cubed is actually minus i. So this becomes minus i x cubed over 3 factorial. And then this minus i to the power of 4 is actually going to be plus. So this is going to be plus, and um, i to the power of 4 is just going to be plus 1, because it's, it's minus 1 times minus 1, which is plus 1. So it's plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial. And then I'll keep going. I'll do a few more. It's going to be plus again. It's going to be plus because it's going to be to the power of 5 now. i to the power of 5 is just i, and then it starts repeating itself. So I have i minus 1 minus i, 1 i, and then it's back to it's back to itself. So i x 
to the 5 over 5 factorial, and then it's going to be minus, I'll do one more, minus um, x minus x to the 6, because now we're at, we're back here to minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial, and then minus dot dot dot. Okay, great. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the real parts, and I'm going to take the imaginary parts. So the real parts of this, of this expression are 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial, plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial. I can keep going. It would be plus x to the 8 over 8 factorial, and then minus, let's go again, dot, dot, dot. But, um, okay, so I have dot, I have a dot, dot, dot there, and I'm actually, I'll put that in a bracket like this. And then it's plus, so now I'm going to take the imaginary part. So I'm going to have my i here, open bracket. Uh, so I'm going to take out the i, and what's left is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial minus x to the 7, you can see a pattern here, over 7 factorial plus, plus, dot, 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 close the bracket, equals. Now, look at this, 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial. What is this? Look over here. This is actually equal to cos x. So this equals cos x. And then this x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial is sin x. So this is now cos x plus i, there's an i there, i times sin x. So let's just bring this down as well. e to the i x equals this. Okay. So this is an identity that we've used in complex numbers. If you've done complex numbers, you'd have seen this before. And this is where it comes from. Great. Now, we want e to the i pi. So let's sub in pi. I can say e to the i pi is equal to cos of pi plus i times sine of pi. Now we're nearly there. We are nearly there. Let me just come down a little bit here. e to the i pi, e to the i pi equals, what's cos of pi? Well, cos of pi is negative 1. And what is sine of pi? Well, it's 0. So e to the i pi equals negative 1. Or, let me change the color here, make a big deal out of this. e to the i pi equals negative 1, or e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0. How neat is that, right? So that's, um, yeah, there we, there we are. That's Euler's identity. That is the Maclaurin series. That is calculus. And again, depending when you finish this uh, this course or watch this lesson that is the end of all the uh, all my lessons in the um, HL course so well done for getting this far um, when I say see you in the next lesson this time what of course I want you to be to be doing is going and practicing lots and lots of different types of questions on all these topics particularly the past papers. So go and check out some of my videos on the on the on past papers.